Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back to another video. Firstly, before we get started in today's video, I wanted to say a huge thank you so much for all your love and well wishes and lovely positive comments on my last video, which of course I announced that I was pregnant. <laughs> so I am, at the time of filming this video, um, I'm 16 weeks pregnant and it's been really hard to keep it under wraps, to keep it undercover and to kind of just act like normal. So I'm so relieved that I can finally speak to you guys about it and hopefully it explains some of the reason as to why I haven't been uploading quite as frequently and um, I've really been struggling with illness but I am going to do my best to get videos up for you guys and I also just wanted to reassure some of you who are here for my fashion and style content that is not going to go anywhere. This channel is about fashion and style. It might have a few pregnancy related videos intertwined with it, but my focus is style. So I will be having a bit of a bump and my figure is going to change over the next couple of months, but ultimately the fundamental nature of my channel will stay the same. So I hope you guys feel a bit more reassured by that. Um, today's video, I wanted to share with you a ways to style video and the hero piece I think in anybody's spring wardrobe is the trench coat and I absolutely adore my trench coat. I've actually picked up a new trench coat for this year which I absolutely love and I thought this video would hopefully be helpful just to give you a bit of outfit inspo and also show you ways to wear one certain key item which I would consider to be a real key capsule wardrobe piece for spring. So the item I'm going to be styling today is this trench coat. This trench coat is from And Other Stories. It wasn't the most affordable trench coat, it was over £100. But I think a trench coat like this is such an investment piece and it is something that will never ever date. It will stay in style year on year, you'll get so much wear out of it. And I think me personally, the amount that I've worn my current trench coats, I just know that I'm gonna be living in this one in spring. So for me, it was worth the investment. I will link everything down below if I can find it, if it's still in stock. Some of these items are new, some are older, but I'll do my best. Um, so yeah, this is the gorgeous trench coat. It's in this camel colour. It is a really nice camel colour actually. It's not too light, it's not too dark. And the thing I love about this trench coat as well is it's a bit more substantial than some of the other trenches that I have, which I think is important for this weather we have in the UK. <laughs> the weather here is obviously very changeable. It's not the warmest at the moment. <laughs> So this trench will give me a bit more warmth as well, which I love. It's ever so slightly on the oversized fit as well, which I also love. And I think it's just a really beautiful trench and I would highly, highly recommend. So first up, outfit number one. I wanted to keep things a bit more basic underneath, but this outfit is, I would say, a really good, smart, casual look. So I paired these trousers, which are just Zara high-waisted trousers. I've paired these with a vest top, but it's a knitted vest top, which is from Naked Fashion. I love the colorway of these two together. I love the mixture of fabrics. I love this knitted top from Naked. And I also, I mean, these high-waisted Zara trousers are so popular and they're so popular for a reason because they fit incredibly well. Although I can't really breathe in them now because obviously I'm pregnant, <laughs> but I'm still just fitting in them. Um, and I wanted to create, as I say, a bit more of a smart, casual look by dressing it down with some beige trainers and also just popping on a bit more of a casual over-the-shoulder bag. I really, really love this look together. I think it's so wearable. It's also really versatile in that you don't have to wear black trousers. You can wear grey. You can wear beige. You can even wear camel trousers. You can switch out the trousers for jeans. That would also work really, really nicely for this look. It's totally up to you. But this kind of outfit is something that I would wear out to the shops if I was going for lunch, if I was meeting a friend for a coffee. I think this kind of look works really, really nicely. It's very easy to wear. It's comfortable, which is so, so important for me. 
always has been, always will be. And yeah, I think it just works really nicely. The second look is a bit more of an ode to the warmer weather. So this is my optimistic, hoping that it's gonna be slightly warmer in the spring look. <laughs> and I have decided to mix up the colors slightly and pair these wide leg H&M trousers in this lighter, creamy beige color, which are very relaxed. They are very, very comfortable. I've got a size 10 in these ones. These are a recent addition to my wardrobe. I think they keep selling out, um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. You don't need these ones. I'm hoping this video just gives you some inspiration of things you already have in your wardrobe. And two colors that I love together is this blue, I still got the tag on this, but I am keeping it, so I am gonna take it off. Um, this one is a linen blend top, so I love the blue and the cream together, and also with the camel. I think that is such a nice color combination. I think it looks so, so chic, so expensive, so just stylish. I really, really like it. Um, and I also love the contrast of the textures between these two pieces. And I love the fact that the top is slightly slouchier and a bit more oversized and I just tuck it in to the trousers. Now, as this is a slight ode to the warmer weather, I have paired it with my Birkenstock sandals, which I lived in last year. And I will 100% be buying them in a different color this year. I wore them so, so much and they were the comfiest shoes ever. I adore them. And my favorite accessory, I think, all year round is a basket bag. So I'm getting excited. I've pulled my old Zara basket bag out. I am hoping to maybe invest in a slightly more expensive basket bag this year. We'll see. Watch this space because I just love it so, so much. And I think this look is just giving me all of the spring inspo, all of the spring vibes. And it makes me so, so excited to start bringing out some warmer weather clothes. This next look is a bit more of a, I would say, running errands kind of look. So for me, running errands is doing the supermarket shop. It's going to the post office. It's going getting fuel. It's doing all of these errandy things, going to the hairdressers, um, picking something up. That is what I would wear this kind of next outfit for. And I am wearing these leggings in this next look. As I say, these are from H&M, they're from the maternity range. They're really, really comfortable. And I've also paired the look with this, just very casual jumper. This is an old H&M jumper. Um, it's so, so nice. I wear it all the time. I wear it on Sundays, just when I'm wanting a bit more of a relaxed look. And um, I'm not necessarily a massive logo person normally, but. I really like this logo and I think this jumper looks really, really lovely on and, and I think just wearing it with the trench, the trench just adds an element of put togetherness and an element of, I guess, on trend style to your outfit. I've then finished the look with my new Axel Arigato trainers, so chunky trainers, again to give it that kind of sports luxe dress down vibe. Um, I would ideally pair this look with a fabric tote. I think that would look really, really nice. Um, but instead I've gone for a slightly different tote because I didn't really have a fabric one. Maybe that's something that's missing from my wardrobe that I need to invest in. Not even invest in, just pick up at some point. I'll see. <laughs> um, but I think this just running Emma's outfit looks really chic, is really, really comfortable and still looks put together. Finally, this next look is what I would call a date night look, maybe going out for drinks with the girls look. And it's a very simple look. It's wearing these leggings again. So I'm not gonna be too fussy and get, you know, too many mix and matchy pieces. I want to show you how you can wear basics and staples that are in your wardrobe. So I picked up these leggings again. I've paired them with a pair of old Topshop black boots. They're super comfortable. They don't have the biggest heel in the world. So they're very easy to wear. And then underneath the trench, I have paired it with this gorgeous new look, maternity range top. Now, I know some of these pieces might be maternity, but you can 100% switch them out for pieces that are in your wardrobe. It does not have to be maternity if you're not pregnant. Um, but you know, just a bit of a pattern, a long sleeved chiffon style top, I think works so nicely for that jeans, a nice top or you know going out for drinks style top 
it's not massively dressy it's still quite conservative but it's just got an element of kind of floaty fun about it which i really really like and again it's just nice to have that trench coat to pair over the top so trenches aren't just for the daytime you can definitely wear them of an evening you can definitely wear them for a dinner you can wear them out and about day or night they are just so versatile and also you can wear them to work you can wear them on the weekend they are just such a key staple in a spring capsule wardrobe so that's going to be it for today's video i hope you found it helpful if you did please do give it a big old thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and of course for your support always it means the world to me and hopefully you subscribe to stick around for new videos from me every single week and I'll see you really soon for the next one.